Apple has announced the date of the WWDC 2024 presentation, where they will show us iOS 18, which in turn will be quite interesting. Today we'll discuss it, I'm Maxim, let's proceed. So yes, let's go over everything in order. Today Apple announced for us... She made an announcement regarding her annual WWDC 2024 developer conference that is upcoming. In principle, it is not surprising for anyone that she had to do it, because this conference occurs annually, where we are presented with a multitude of diverse software applications. Naturally, 2024 was no exception, and Apple announced that this year's developer conference will take place from June 10 to 14. In the identical online format, a handful of selected developers will be invited to Apple Park to witness and experience all of this firsthand. If we discuss the timing of our presentation, Apple has stated that it will take place on June 10th, which falls on a Monday. In Cupertino, the presentation will begin at 10 a.m. as is customary. Everything is very standard, but I still hope that you will enjoy the content and consider subscribing to the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated and will contribute to the channel's growth. As for what Apple will showcase at this WWDC event, primarily it will be focused on software. However, there may also be some discussions or inquiries about hardware. So far, there have been no major leaks regarding hardware, but as for software, of course, iOS 18, iPadOS 18, macOS 15, watchOS 11, and most likely Vision OS 2.0 for us, as well as various software for AirPods, HomePod, and so on for Apple TV. So yes, this is a developer's conference that will show us what Apple will be promoting for us next year. But of course, everyone is primarily interested in iOS 18, I think, and now we will talk about it. Let's get back to our iOS with you. What do we have in iOS 18? Yes, actually iOS 18 is considered a super big update within Apple. I'll say right away, don't expect anything at the level of iOS 7 when there was skeuomorphism and then such a boom flat design. No, we've already been through this, everyone just spat from this flat design, therefore since then Apple does not make such drastic changes. Make smooth, unhurried changes so that everyone gradually gets used to it. Here's a new lock screen for you, then a new contact screen for you, these cards, and get used to it, get used to it slowly. So this year will not be an exception, and there will be this smooth change. However, it is important to understand that Apple itself considers this to be the biggest update in years. First and foremost, obviously, gratitude to AI. AI, 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 it is a topic of discussion everywhere, including in the statement where an individual from Apple expressed absolute amazement, stating that if we combine it, we will have AI, which is why Apple is placing great emphasis on AI. They mentioned that there will be no proprietary charger PTE or Gemini from Apple, and they will seek assistance from Google, OpenAI, and even Chinese Baidu or a similar entity to handle it on their behalf. In other words, it will be an integration that will most probably evolve into a type of personal assistant. Individual features within the Apple system will be done by AI itself. They bought a lot of startups, prepared a lot of different models of neural networks, which will now work, process, and I'm sure there will be shown a lot of cool little and big features, so we are waiting for it. In addition, for several years now there have been rumors about updating the control center, of course, we are also waiting for it, hoping that they will tidy it up a bit, make it a little more modern, let's see what they come up with. And here's what many individuals say, by the way. Mark Gurman states that the home screen will also experience changes for us, primarily because you will have the ability to organize elements as you desire. Of course, Apple won't give you any anarchy, so it's unlikely they'll put the icon in the middle of the screen as you want. But most likely there will be a tool to place icons at the bottom. Now they are placed at the top, ultimately you will be able to place them at the bottom. It is not clear yet how this will be done. Possibly through some interactive elements as it is done now with third-party applications. When you install a widget like this, you have empty space there. Maybe it will be done like this. Maybe they will make the grid more flexible in principle. We will find out about this at WWDC. And I know that many people have been waiting for this revolution and they are like, yes, finally? Well, all right, fine, let it be. Somewhere there, the fans of Android are laughing in the country because they could do it like that from the very beginning. But I'm sorry, this is Apple. Envision Pro applications are still sorted alphabetically, just like they have always been. I can't drag the application, I can't create a folder, they just are as they are. Sorry, use maybe in Vision OS 2.0 they will fix something, but not yet. So for iOS it's a real revolution. Naturally, these are the first signs of the upcoming new BIOS 18. Of course, as I already mentioned, we are waiting for Vision OS 2.0, new macOS features, and of course watchOS, which by the way they say will be very minor this year, like last year was revolutionary. So there will still be leaks and some other fragments appearing later, 
but at the moment we have two main focuses, redesigning the home screen and a significant implementation of various AI functions. Certainly in the final presentation all of this will be more more more. If we're talking about when all of this will come out then of course we will probably see the first beta version for developers right on June 10th. If we are talking about the public beta it will be released in July and the release of course in September. Therefore, despite the fact that all this will be shown on June 10th, the public version will only be available in September. Well, nothing new, it happens every year. Actually, if you liked this video, found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate it and it will help the channel grow. Subscribe to channel below, click bell, don't miss anything cool, YouTube will notify you when new video is released. Of course, at the bottom, write whether you are waiting for iOS 18 and WWDC, what do you want to see from new software solutions from Apple in general? Interesting to read, discuss. Well, of course, two videos for you on YouTube. Check them out if you haven't. It's over. Press the short button to subscribe. We had Maxim. Thank you.